welcome back to your science class today we'll start with the next topic that is sexual reproduction we have already studied about asexual reproduction in plants now we'll study the sexual reproduction in plants the flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant i hope that you all know this okay which is the reproductive part of the plant it is the flower and in the flower you have already studied about the stamen which is the male part of the flower that is you can see the male reproductive part of the flower this is the stamen and the second the and the another part is the female reproductive part which is called as the pistil okay this is the pistil and this is the stamen so stamen is the male reproductive part and uh, pistil is the female reproductive plant okay uh, now uh, children if you remember in class 6th i had already shown you this hibiscus flower and in this hibiscus flower i had already shown you the male part and the female part okay now if you remember in class 6th i had told you that there are some flowers which contain both stamen and the pistil in the same flower okay this kind of flower are called as bisexual flowers okay what are they called as they are called as bisexual flower and the examples of bisexual flowers are corn papaya cucumber sorry uh, not corn papaya and cucumber uh, mustard rose petunia and hibiscus they all are bisexual flowers okay so bisexual means which have both the stamen now here in this hibiscus if you will see which is the stamen these are the stamen okay the stamen these are the stamen see i have plugged it with my hands okay the one which you can see here these are the stamen if you remember stamen has two, uh, two parts the upper portion the one which you can see yellow in color na that is the uh, anther and the another one which is attached that is the filament the filament and the anther okay and then in this same flower here you have got the female reproductive part this also i had shown you in class 6th okay if you remember i had shown you in class 6th that inside there is the female reproductive part okay and what all does the female reproductive part contain here it is inside if you uh, take out this remove this you will find the female reproductive plant and what all does the female reproductive part contain the female reproductive part contains the the upper portion okay that is the stigma okay stigma you here you can see very clearly this this the red portion na? this red color in the hibiscus flower if you see this red portion that is the stigma okay then this long portion that is the style and then here inside you have got the ovary okay so the pistil has got stigma style ovary and inside it it contains the ovule okay very tiny particles so as i was telling you about the bisexual flowers so bisexual flowers are the flowers which contain both the uh, female reproductive part and the male reproductive part like just now i showed you na hibiscus it contains both the stamen and the pistil then another examples are mustard rose petunia okay then Uh, other than bisexual flowers there are unisexual flowers in unisexual flowers they have either the stamen or the pistil what do you mean by either either means ya to usme male reproductive part hai ya fir usme female reproductive part hai okay either of the two so that is why since they have any one that is why these flowers they are called as unisexual flowers okay so unisexual flowers examples are corn papaya cucumber they all are unisexual flowers that means either the pistil is present or the stamen is present in this 
okay so this is it now here what does it uh, when uh, when i showed you the anther and the filament of the uh, of a stamen okay i showed you just now the anther and the filament of the stamen so now what does it do this anther inside the anther is the pollen grain it produces the male gametes okay the male gametes are produced by the pollen grains so pollen grains are very tiny small particles like this dot 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 okay like this very small tiny particles pollen grains it is like this dot dot very tiny structure so what are these these are the male gametes okay this produce the male gametes and this that is the uh, ovary okay ovary contains many ovules it may be one or more ovules okay so uh, the egg or the female gamete is formed inside the ovule inside the ovule is the egg or the female gamete and inside the uh, pollen grain sorry the pollen grain produces the male gametes okay so about this fertilization i will tell you in the next video and what happens in this in sexual reproduction the male gamete okay which is found in the pollen and the female gamete which is present in the ovule they fuse together to form a zygote what do you mean by fuse fuse means judna aapas mein judna okay and that produces the zygote i will tell you about this when i teach you in the next video when i tell you about the uh, uh sorry the fertilization okay now we'll continue with the uh, next part that is the pollen pollination okay in pollination the pollen grains have a tough protective coat okay which prevents them from drying up so what happens this pollen grains i told you na this pollen grains are very very tiny small particles they are very very light they can be very easily carried by wind okay so now what happens when they can be easily carried by the either they can be carried by the wind or by the water or by the insects okay which uh, uh, by the insect which come to the flowers now what happens here is that the pollen lands okay the pollen grain the pollen grain which is present here okay what happens either due to wind water or when the insects come and sit here what will happen the pollen grains reaches to the stigma here okay and this transfer of the pollen grain from the stamen to the stigma is called the pollination okay what is this called as this process is called as pollination that is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower is called as pollination okay i hope this uh, much is clear to all of you the next the types of pollination i will explain you in the uh, next video that is self pollination and cross pollination i will explain in the next video children please keep reading the book i hope you all will read this much uh, and you will come prepared for the next class thank you